Hello from Natalie Joel, Living Life with Nat and Living Keto with Nat. I'm sure you often wonder, I'm trying to do keto, but I just don't seem to succeed. Well, let me mention seven mistakes that a lot of people make. The first thing is we have to realize that we do not count calories in the ketogenic way of eating. Is a calorie of chocolate the same as a calorie of broccoli? No. But if you've got to count calories, how do you know the difference? So with this way of eating, we count carbs. And we try and keep our carbs as low as possible. The second thing that people make a mistake on is they say, I'm, my clothes are getting big for me, my shoes are too big for me, but I'm not losing weight. What we focus on on this way of eating is ignore the scale. The scale is just one factor in the matter. The important thing is, are your clothes feeling loose on you? If they are, and if your face has gone from a little moon shape to more of a long shape like mine did, then you know you are being successful. Don't worry about the scale. The third point is, oh, if it's sugar-free, it must be keto-friendly. Unfortunately, it's not the case. Many sweeteners, instead of being used for sugar, for the, they put in sweeteners, a lot of the sweeteners are actually harmful to us. And just because it's sugar-free doesn't mean it's keto-friendly. So be very careful to check which sweeteners are in the containers that you are buying, the ingredients, because unfortunately, there are only very, very few sweeteners which are keto-friendly. The fourth point is many people don't know what to avoid on keto. They might say, oh, keto means I mustn't have grains. But it also means anything that turns into sugar. For example, do you know that rice, corn, even milk and legumes and potatoes convert into sugar once they hit our mouths and go down and they turn into sugar. We avoid those as well. Another point is, oh, I'm on keto. I can eat what I like. I can have as much fat as I want. My portion size doesn't matter. Portion size is extremely important on this way of eating. Too much of a good thing is too much of a good thing. Just because it's healthy doesn't mean that, it's, that we can go overboard and eat it. It's very important to make sure your portions are the right size. Often, the next point is that it will say keto on the packet. But unfortunately, just because it says keto doesn't mean that it is keto. A lot of people say on their products is keto because they themselves don't really understand what keto means. So it's very, very, very important to check the ingredients. Ingredients is number one. Carb counting on the ingredients is number two. If it's, if it's above five grams or seven grams of carbs per hundred, don't buy it. And the last point is, oh, I can't just eat the food. Everybody says I have to have these drinks and those drinks to make myself from keto. Nonsense. As long as you're keeping to the right foods and drinking plenty of water, there's no need to drink anything else. There's no need to say, because it's a keto drink, I have to drink it. Keep your, your portions right, keep your drinks right, keep your food right, and you're in keto. Enjoy. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel, my, my channel linked below. And if you like what I'm, I'm saying, please tick like. I would really appreciate it. Thank you.